What is up, you guys? It is the first day of remote learning. Woo. Um, so, uh, I, I kind of sent out that message on the Google Meet, or not on the Google Meet, on the Google Classroom, about uh, how stuff is going to work for band. It's going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to be putting up a video each week uh, for your class, and it's going to be stuff continuing in our book. Um, for you guys in sixth grade, we're pretty close to being done with the book already. So it's going to be uh, just kind of going into a little bit finer detail stuff and just stuff that I would be working on in class um, in addition to prepping for a concert, but unfortunately we're not going to have that. Um, but uh, so it's, it's just going a little bit deeper into some of it. Uh, I'm combining just for all sixth grade stuff. So this is going to be for woodwinds, brass, um, and percussion. Percussion, I'll do a little thing at the very end. However, what I'm going to be doing with the brass and percussion, or sorry, brass and woodwinds can also apply to percussionists. Okay, so... You are going to be needing your book. Um, so in your book, you're going to turn to page 40. And we're looking at, uh, we, we did a little bit of this already. I'm going to be talking about one that we've already reviewed a little bit and then another one that we haven't talked about, but it's going to apply everything from what we have talked about so far. So the first thing is uh, on page 40, um, you're looking at the key of concert B flat major. Make sure that if you're not a concert pitch instrument, like if you're a trumpet or clarinet, um, that you're looking at the concert B flat. Okay, click on concert B flat. That's what we're looking at. So there's four exercises per each scale. Um, one, two, three, and four. The first one is just the actual scale uh, with the arpeggio. The second one is an exercise where it's like a, a slur two, tongue two. So uh, slurring for two notes, then tongue it for two, then they change it up where they tongue and then slur. Uh, the third is doing a scale in thirds, they'll talk about it in a minute. And then a fourth is kind of a combination of all that. It's skipping over a little bit, plus going on between slurring and tongue. Okay? So for the first one, um, number one, it's just going up and down the scale, followed by uh, the arpeggio. It, it's pretty straightforward, but I'll still play through it. Okay. Uh... We've done stuff like that plenty of times. Um, number two for key of B flat is a slur two tongue two exercise. They're just changing where the slur is. That's kind of the most important part of it. Um, so it's just going up uh, five notes, starting at do, going up to sol, then coming back down. It's just changing where the uh, where the slur is. That's the kind of the main thing. Okay. So the first two measures it's slur two tongue two. Next two measures it's tongue two slur two. And then the last two measures, it's tongue one, slur the middle two, and then tongue the last one. Okay? So the exercise is going to sound like this. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Uh, the third one for key of B flat, this is the scale in thirds. So normally when we just go up our scale, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth. Um, for the scale in thirds, it's kind of the concept of two steps forward, one step back. So instead of going one, two, three, four, five, we would go one, three, two, four, okay, three, six, okay, four, seven, and so on and so forth. Okay, and then we come back down. So that's it's going to sound like this. Okay, pretty straightforward. And the fourth one is kind of a combination of all the stuff that we've done so far. And, uh, and we're doing some slurring, uh, combined some by some tonguing, and then having a little bit more of a jump. Okay? So it's a little bit of a longer one, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to play through. Okay? <laughs> Okay. 
so um, that's just for concert B flat. That's the scale that we again we spent a whole lot of time working on this year. Very very important one that it's going to be used a lot, not just in stuff we did this year, but also next year. Now the uh, the second one I want you to turn to is uh, for the key of concert A flat. A is an apple. A flat major, and that is on page forty one. Okay. Now the nice thing is is that these exercises in the back for the scales for one, two, three, and four, it's all the same. It's the same kind of concept. It's just working with a different scale. Okay. So for <clears throat> for the A flat major scale, um, the key signature is different. Okay, and we haven't really worked a whole lot in this key signature yet, but this is one that I would we will spend a little bit more time on towards the end of the year if we were in school. Okay. So uh, the important thing to note is for um, for flutes, okay, for trombones, you guys have four flats. That's B flat, E flat, A flat, and a D flat. That's that's the one that's added in there, okay, that we don't see as, as often. Uh, for clarinets and for trumpets, okay, and also for euphoniums, we have B flat and E flat, okay? Uh, for horns, we have three flats. That is B flat, E flat, and A flat for French horns. And then for alto saxes, you guys only have one flat, and that's uh, B flat. Okay. Um, for tenor sax as well, is also two flats, B flat, E flat. I forgot uh, that we have some tenors um, in, in sixth grade. So uh, the first, the first one, um, number one again, it's just the scale up and down the scale with the arpeggio. Um, it's just a different scale. Okay, so make sure that you're paying attention to your key signature so it sounds like what I'm going to play. Because uh, this is where if you don't play the right key signature, it's going to sound a little bit funky. It's not going to sound quite right. Okay, number one. <laughs> going to have a little issues with or it's just going to be hard to remember is the note that you play in the um, the first note of measure two okay the first note of measure two that's the the note that's a little bit different okay that we just got to be keeping an eye on uh, number two for key of a flat same thing that it was for the key of b flat it's just the slur two tongue two uh, there's changing up where the slur is at we're just using a different scale okay so number two of key of a flat <laughs> key of a flat is the scale in thirds that we've talked about okay the one three two four okay all that good stuff uh and again it's just it's going to be fairly similar to what we had in the key of b flat we've just changed um the scale that we're using okay here we go <laughs> start at uh, measure five. Okay, so you can hear how it sounds a little bit off. I'll start at measure five. Here we go. Okay, so hopefully you heard how that, that note that I played wrong, it just doesn't quite fit. Okay, um, and last but not least, the fourth one for key of A flat, um, it's just like the fourth one was for B flat where we're uh, slur two, tongue two, and then we also had that little jump in the half notes. Okay, here we
that's all I've got for you guys so far. Percussion, you can still do all of that on mallet. However, one that's also really good to um, work on some sticky stuff for, uh, for on your practice pad is actually the same one that I just played, which is number four for the key of A flat, okay? It does a lot of flam taps, okay? A lot of flam taps, and uh, we also have some 16th notes. We have somewhere where we just have four 16th notes in a row, um, and which incorporates also some paradiddles. And then we also have, um, in addition to, uh, to that, having just an eighth note followed by two sixteenths, or the opposite of that, the two sixteenths followed by the one eighth note. Okay, so I'm going to play through the the same thing that I just played for the key of e, uh, key of A flat number four, but I'm just going to do it on percussion, and I'll uh, angle it down so you guys can see the practice pad. Okay, all right, here we go. So this is uh, key of A flat number four for percussion. Starts out with flam taps. Okay, here we go. Whoop, that was bad. the first half and then the second half is pretty similar to that we have those flam taps in between all the measures that we've had some 16th notes okay so starting on the fifth measure or uh, starting on the fifth measure the ninth measure here we go starting on the ninth measure again with flam taps here we go and flam tap flam tap flam tap flam tap one e and a two e and three e and a four e and oh i screwed up the stick in there that was actually my fault let's try that one more time it should be one e and a two e and so it's actually double paradiddle double Let's try that again right from measure nine. Here we go. Six, seven, eight. Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. One E and a two E and three E and a four E and. Flam taps again. Tap, tap. One E and two and a three E and four and. Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. One E and a two. What did I do right there? Yeah, one E and a. Oh, okay. I screwed that up again. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, the stick, the sticking in that for that is a little bit weird. The last four measures, last four measures. Here we go. Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. One e and a two and a three e and four and flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. One e and two and a three. Rest. Yeah, that sticking that third measure from the end is a little bit funky. Okay. All right, guys. That's that's all I've got for you for so far for this uh, this first week. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Um, and we'll kind of build off of that uh, as we move forward, okay? All right. Love you, miss you. Bye.